I can't understand how this stuff is more important than your son. What do you want me to say? Is there anything on this table that's more important than Frankie? Why are you even thinking? See, that's what's wrong. Why are you even thinking? Because nothing on this table should even come into your mind as well, being more important. If I throw it away, then I'm going to have to replace it and go buy it again. When are you going to replace Frankie? It's a real life struggle. People who compulsively hoard possessions. It's a dangerous disorder, but help is out there for those who suffer from it. Corey Chalmers, A&E's expert on the show Hoarders and a retired fire captain, is here to talk about their secret obsessions and the type of treatment hoarders need to get their lives back on track. Welcome, Corey, to Thank KCAL 9. I see the show every week. I'm a big fan. I make no uh, <laughs> secret you. about that. Um, you start the show always explaining what hoarding is. Can you explain what hoarding is? Like this gentleman, he couldn't get rid of anything. Sure, and it's different for each person, you know, but typically there's a trauma or a trigger in their past that's causing this behavior, and they're just filling voids. So we like to find out what it is that's causing it so we can kind of back that process up and reverse the way they got there. And they save anything, everything, right? They want to surround themselves with possessions, correct? Sure. Some of them have a theme. Some of them, you know, like paperwork and some like animals, some like trash. It doesn't matter. It's when you lose functionality of the home that that's, it becomes a problem no matter what the items are. You were a firefighter before. You had actually had gone into situations where hoarding was present, and that kind of gave you an idea of... of of the seriousness of it? Yes, we went to many homes that were just mm -hmm. completely full. We went to fires. We went to people that couldn't get out of their homes. We went to homes that we couldn't get in. So this is a very serious health problem too. It's not just a problem because there's a lot of stuff in their house. It's a, it's a dangerous situation for them and the community. You mentioned trauma. Is trauma always a trigger? When I watch this show, I always see it's either the death of a, of a spouse, of a child, something many, even many, many years, 30 years past and still affects them today. I think that makes up the majority of, of cases. I would say about 80 to 90 percent of the people we work with suffer from depression and post-trauma. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of other reasons, about 15 of them, that make up all the cases, but that's the one that we see the most. And let's talk about the dangers of hoarding. A lot of times when you clean up the house, you realize the house is structurally unstable. Definitely. We come across a lot of homes that are unstable. They just can't handle that amount of weight. Plus, the homes have become dilapidated because they're not doing the maintenance they should be. There's fire danger. There's needles sometimes in homes that people can come across and stuff on. There's all kinds of things, including mold. We have a clip about. of something very similar. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. It's just absolutely eerie in here. Now that's you inside one of those homes. You're not doing this night vision much anymore, but uh, shows the severity. A lot of these homes have no power, no plumbing, no working plumbing, and there you are inside the house. Exactly, and the reason we did that is we wanted to see, show people what it's like to actually live in a home like that. It's one thing to show the struggle of them letting go, but actually to work through having just a daily life, making dinner, going to the bathroom, things that you take for granted, you can't do in these homes. Mm -hmm. And um, all right, well, we have, I think, uh, one more clip that we want to show. Let's uh, do that and talk about that. Tell me um, what you would expect that might be in something like this that you would have a loss of. Um, an article that I want to look at, a picture of maybe a, an animal, a cute picture. This is from over a year. I remember that show, Corey, and this woman really had a tough time getting rid of a soiled piece of a newspaper. Um, what are some of the things that people can look for? Uh, and if their relative perhaps may be starting to hoard. Sure. It's really looking at the function out of the home and the safety of the home. And once that line is crossed, we know it's an issue. But look for signs of attachment that aren't normal. You know, for example, that story. Mm -hmm. if, if there's a piece of paper with holes in it, mouse droppings, mouse urine on it, like why would they possibly want to keep that? That shows that somehow in their mindset and their cognitive thinking is off, mm -hmm. that they really truly need help. And it's not just throwing things away. And you have specialists. You have organizers that come in, psychiatrists, psychologists at work. Um, with these people. So it's something a lot deeper than just collecting items, right? It sure is. We have a whole team. Any type of resource that someone could need, we could line up for them, whether it's support groups, therapy, anything. Mm -hmm. But it's not always about cleaning out. After the show, you usually have the, the, the PS on, on these people. <laughs> uh, and you talk about the aftercare funds. Where do those come from? Aftercare funds to help them with organization and therapy and whatnot. So on the show, the show actually pays for that. They pay for six months of therapy, organizers that come in and help build systems and tools put in place for them. So they're really given every opportunity to, to succeed once we leave. Mm -hmm. And you're saying uh, we're in the middle of season eight. 
Mm -hmm. And hopefully there'll be a season nine, right? We're hoping, yeah. There's only about another month of the show, and then hopefully a &E picks up another season or two, and we can keep this going. Oh, uh, thank you so much. All right, Corey <laughs> Chalmers, thank you so much. You can watch all new episodes of Hoarders Sundays on A&E. And for more information about the show and Corey, just go to kcal9.com. Click Scene on TV. Thank you, Corey.